second time filming this intro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Zoe, but most people know me as the A-Reptiles. So I'm redoing this intro because originally I had planned for one big video, but I decided I'm going to split it up and do two videos. So this video is gonna be getting ready for my new pet, and then the next video will be picking up my new pet. So I'm not gonna tell you guys in this video what I'm getting. I'm going to just show you in the next video. So we're gonna go shopping today, pick up everything I need for this pet, put together the quarantine enclosure, and see if you guys can guess what kind of animal it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go back through and edit the first intro and take out the part where I say what the animal is and see if I can keep the rest of it. But yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, most people know me as the Ape Reptiles and we're out running errands. So, I am picking up a new animal tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday, it's the 17th. And so what better day to finally pick up this animal. I paid for her a week ago, but she's a big animal, so I have nowhere to put her right now. Well, now I do, but I had nowhere to put her. So the people that own her, or had her, have her, said that they would hold on to her for a week so that I could have an enclosure ready for her so that's just what we are working on so we're running errands right now um, I posted on Instagram about the new animal I didn't say what it was so this is the video we're gonna find out and I might as well just tell you no I'm not gonna tell you not right now so right now I'm on my way to Home Depot and Walmart while we wait for UPS to come it's 4 30 so UPS should be here anytime but I ordered a grow tent for her, for her temporary, for now, enclosure. Um, I know that there's some controversial opinions on whether or not grow tents make good reptile enclosures without having used one myself. I don't have a very, you know, solid opinion, but I have looked into it for quite a while now. Um, I know a lot of people use them for a lot of different reptiles. People I know have used them and there's ways to make them look great, there's ways to make them work, and it's a really inexpensive, good way to, well, I don't wanna say good, because that would be having an opinion on something that I don't really know much about, um, but it's a really affordable way to have a very large enclosure, and it's an enclosure that's good at holding in heat and humidity. So we're gonna give it a try. If it doesn't end up working to my liking, I'll change it, but we're gonna give it a try. So I'm waiting for the grow tent to come in. That's why it's been a week since I paid for her um, because Amazon Prime with COVID isn't really Amazon Prime anymore. So instead of waiting two days, Prime is now like a week. So I had to wait a week for it to come in. So while we wait for it, I'm headed to Amazon. I'm getting some bricks or stones or something to create a hide and a basking area. Um, I need I think I'm gonna pick up lamps for her. I think I need new lamps. I might as well get them while I'm here. Um, I think that might be all I need at Home Depot because it is, because she's going into quarantine, you always quarantine your animals when you get them. Um, we're going to be a unit stop, okay. Because she is going into quarantine, I'm not putting in a bunch of substrate yet. Um, so I don't have to worry about getting that. I am going to go to Walmart after and get puppy pads because it would be, it wouldn't work very well to quarantine a ginormous lizard using paper towels or newspaper. I feel like that's just asking for a mess. So people are saying for large lizards to use like the rolls of brown paper that you can get at Home Depot or puppy pads. So I kind of like the idea of puppy pads because it will soak up whatever feces, urates, yada yada. So I'm gonna get puppy pads, and I also have to get a water dish for her, and maybe another plastic hide for the cool end. So we're just gonna walk around and see what we find. Um, I might get a hanging plant from Home Depot to hang on the bars. Um, yeah, I'll definitely deck it out more later on after quarantine. Um, so it's gonna be kind of bare right now. So that's what we're doing right now, and tomorrow we're gonna go pick her up, and you guys will get to meet her. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so I got these four for the corners. I got these to go um, across the front. And those to create a hide. Okay, so here's the idea. You got these two really huge, heavy brick thing, stone bricks. And then you put this big tile on top. There's a hide, there's a basking area. If you guys didn't already know, the best tip I have for you is to get your lamps at Home Depot or Walmart because they're so much cheaper than reptile brand domes. Like, look at that. Six bucks for a little one, 10 bucks for a big one. Like, it's 13 bucks for a big one, but still good. Okay, so I just got the idea while I was at Walmart. Since you know, she didn't really come from much in the way of comfort. Her enclosure that she has now at her home where she is and where she's coming from looks about the size of Kronk's enclosure, my Dumeril's boa. And that's a four by two by 16. And it doesn't look like she has much in the way of deep substrate to a bury in. I mean, I could be wrong. I didn't really pay much attention to the enclosure when I was there because I wasn't getting the enclosure. Um, but quarantine is tough for animals that like to dig because you're not supposed to provide substrate. So I want to give her something comforting. Um, so I'm going to give her an old towel so she has something that, you know, she can kind of bury in. But I got the idea that I would put in a dog bed just to see if she liked it. So Walmart really didn't have much in the way of dog beds. A couple they had were too small. So I'm actually going to run into TJ Maxx and see what they've got for dog beds. I'd like to be able to give her something comforting, something she can curl up in, because she can't like dig a hole and curl up in it. So we're just gonna see what they've got, and if they have something, we'll see how she likes it. So I got a dog bed from TJ Maxx. I try to stay away from things that are like obviously cat and dog when I'm using cat and dog things, but with COVID, TJ Maxx is still like wiped clean. So I had very few bed selections, and this was the most inexpensive and the cutest so that's the one she's getting the walmart haul because you can't have a new animal without having food i've got some turnip greens some salmon and some ground turkey just to get me started i already have things like eggs and veggies and fruits at home um some training pads because like i said i'm gonna line the quarantine enclosure with these because it's harder to use um like paper towel and newspaper with this particular animal so puppy pads were recommended and of course a snack for me comment if you like these like if you like these these are amazing all right so we've got everything now we're gonna go home and see if my amazon package has come in the enclosure is here okay so now it's the building stage i'll see if i can figure out how to do this by myself i'm doing it in our kind of messy workout room in the basement because it's the only spot I've got for a big animal to quarantine. So she'll go down here for now and then when stuff gets moved around in my room and her quarantine is done, it'll get moved to my room. So the grow tent was pretty easy to put together. The instructions for putting together the frame were straightforward, very easy. The hard part was actually putting the tent on. I had to take apart the top of the grow tent just to get the tent on because it's such a tight fit um so that part was difficult but yeah so i also picked these up at walmart to hang the lights um people do recommend using some i don't have down here with me um there's like a pulley kind of system that the grow tents sell and they usually use that for lights, so I ordered it. But looking at it, I think I'm gonna use these instead. So these are like, I don't know, two bucks at Walmart. So I'm just going to hook it on here and then hook it to the poles. And actually I'm starting to think that maybe the poles are too fat for these. This might not work, but let's see. Failed to realize is that those little ratchet strap thingies these are also small. I need something else to hook them to the bars. So what I'm going to use are these that I found in my garage and just hook them on and attach the lights that way. 
one. So this is what we're looking at so far. I've got a dog bed over here with a towel for her to curl up in. A water dish and a basking area with a mega ray. So this is he and UVB combined. They're very high quality bulbs. I do have a linear um, UVB with an Arcadia bulb that I plan on giving to her. Um, it hasn't come in yet, but I do love mega rays. They get up to temperature. They provide lots of UVB. So I'm using that over here. I have a nighttime bulb just to make sure that at night it doesn't get too cold because we are in my basement, which can get a little chilly. So just making sure of that. A live plant just because it looks nice, gives some life down here. I added some other little pops of fake plants just to give it something. Um, we are currently, where did it go? There it is. We are at this moment going to test out the temperatures. I know the nighttime one was getting too hot, so I do have to bring down a dimmer for it. Um, but we're gonna check the basking spot. The basking spot is currently at 77 degrees. We're gonna let it warm up, I did just plug it in. We're gonna let it run a little bit longer, see what happens. Um, it is a little high. So I can attach it to a ratchet strap and lower it a little bit. I ended up attaching a ratchet to this one to raise it up. So I can use a ratchet on that one to lower it. Okay, so here is the final setup. It'll probably change some more once I have her. She's very small, so I'm thinking that everything I have set up is gonna be big enough that I can downsize. We'll see. But if our basking area, water, comfy, sleepy, cool side with a towel to burrow in because no substrate because we're in quarantine. Plants, um, nighttime heat, and basking spot. So we have, now we have a basking bulb and a mercury vapor bulb, so make it which is heat and UVB. So that will get nice and toasty. That will stay nice and warm. And yeah. So tomorrow I just have to get a power strip so I can plug in the timer for these lights and have the dimmer and this light plugged in at the same time because I only have one outlet. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's the day we go get her. Um, now I'm going to make some food for her. So I'll show you that meal prep and uh, yeah. So what I've got are some little turkey bowls I'm making from ground turkey and I filled it with chopped up salmon and turnip greens and then I'm going to serve them with fresh fruits and veggies and probably some more greens. Okay, so we are all ready for picking up my new animal tomorrow. Um, I will eventually show you guys the outdoor enclosure I'm building. So this enclosure I set up today with the grow tent is the indoor enclosure and like the nighttime enclosure. Um, I am working on really big outdoor enclosures though, so I'm hoping she spends most of her time out there, um, but I'll bring her in for nighttime and for winter. Um, so she does have a history of brumating, so she'll probably just be brumated and sleeping most of the time that she spends in that tent, so I'm not too worried about the size of it right now. Um, when I move out of here, obviously she'll get something bigger. I'm not planning on staying here for a lot longer. Um, we are looking at houses, so I'm just trying to like pay off credit card bills and everything so that we can then move forward with that. So hopefully by the end of the year, maybe, I'll be out of here. If not, you know, early, sometime next year. Um, but by then, you know, we'll have to go through winter and she'll be brewmating anyway, so. But yeah, so that is everything and getting ready for the new animal. Remember, if you guys have any guesses on what the animal is, to leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow when I go pick her up.